Hey, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I don't know if it's too bright or not. I can't see. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Okay, I hope everybody can see me okay. Let me straighten this up a little bit. It looks a little dark on this side. Let me see if I can adjust my lighting. I'm going to leave that there. Oh, let me see if I can adjust my lighting. It looks a little dark to me. Let me know in the chat if you can see me okay and hear me okay, because last time I had some audio issues. Hey, Ola Joe, I didn't expect to see you here. How are you doing? Hey, cool. What's that? Cool Panda and Isabel. Hello, hello, hello. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, let's see. Hey, son, how are you? How are you? Welcome in, everybody. Let me know if you can hear me okay. And uh, let me see, I do have my volume off there. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can see me okay. I changed my set setups again um, because last time I was had a lot of static and echoing in the video. And I think that that was because I had my mics. I'm streaming from two different devices and I had my mics too close together. So I heard the feedback. So let me know if you heard the feedback. It was going in and out. And I guess next time I'll keep playing with it until I get it right. Thank you all so much for coming in. How is everybody doing on this amazingly beautiful Friday? Yes. Hey, Virginia is here. Hello, Connie. How are you? Yes, we got Virginia on both sides. Yes. Hey, Pam. How are you doing? Love that name. <laughs> Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm leaning forward because my device is a little bit too far for me to just see. They're pretty good, about three, almost four feet away. <laughs> yes. Hey, Daphne, how are you? Hello, hello. Hey, Tina. Hey, hey. Love your videos. I'm new. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Good morning, Patricia. Yes, it's Pat from Philly. Hey, Gregory. Hello. How are you? Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, I just kind of wanted to come on and chat a little bit today, so I thought I'd make a sauce with you all this morning. So we're going to make a yum yum sauce. If you all know what a yum yum sauce is or if you've had yum yum sauce before, Put a two in the chat if you all have had yum yum sauce before. We're going to make it. It's really quick. It's really easy, but it is, oh my goodness, delicious. So, you know, you can use it. Uh, it's used in a lot of uh, Japanese cuisine, and it, you, but you can use it. I use it as like an um, all-purpose sauce, really. You can use it on sandwiches. You can um, use it on chicken. You can use it inside of like casserole. You can, you can use it as a dip. It's amazing as a dip. It's just, it's just all around yummy. It's yum yum sauce. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got a lot of tools over here. Yes. I love yum yum sauce. So it's really quick, really easy to make. So I thought I'd do that uh, this morning with you guys. Yeah. Hey, Jennifer. Good morning. Hello, Penny. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you all for the stars. I didn't see who sent them up, but thank you so much over here on the Facebook side. I appreciate it. I knew it was something I forgot over here on the YouTube side. Give me one second. I'm actually over here on uh, top chat, not live chat. So I can't see everybody's, I can't see everybody's comments. So give me one second here. One second. One second, one second. I also wanted to pin this comment up there. Let me see here. There we go. One second. Okay, put this on live chat so that I can see everyone's comment as they come in. And paste that. And up there. One second, almost done. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yes, that's it. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Move out the way so I can get that back down. Now I should be able to see everybody's comment over here too as it comes in. Sorry about that, guys. I was kind of rushing at the end to get everything set up because... Um, I'm actually on an island right now, but my island does not have any electricity to it. There's no outlet plugs, and I'm going to be using my immersion blender. 
And I could not find an extension cord because usually if I'm just in the kitchen by myself, I just go over to the outlet. <laughs> but I didn't want to leave you all while I blended it. So I needed to use a, an extension cord. And that's not necessarily the best thing to do with appliances, but it's a small appliance and it's a short period of time. So just zzz, 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 and I'm done. So, hey. How are you, Francie? Yes, thank you. As a member, thank you so much for coming in. How you doing, Francie? Yes, 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 yes. Marvina is here. Awesome. So I was a little late coming in. I was a little late coming in. Blessings from Florida. Awesome. That's amazing. That's amazing. So for a yum yum sauce, the ingredients are really simple. You'll need some mayo, butter, which your butter should be softened, and I don't think this is really softened. I'm a, I might heat it in the uh, microwave for a second. And you'll need uh, a little salt to your taste, some tomato paste, a little sugar, a little water, and an all-purpose seasoning. Now, I do mine a little different. This is by far not the traditional yum yum sauce, but you need an all purpose seasoning, something that you know has a little bit of everything in it, maybe garlic powder or anything like that. I'm going to tell you all, one of my favorite things to use as an all-purpose seasoning is Old Bay. So I'm putting Old Bay in it. <laughs> but feel free to use your own all-purpose seasoning or whatever it is. I love, love, love this, and it is delicious, and so it's going in my yum yum sauce. This is one of my favorite sauces to make really quick, really easy uh, for sandwiches. You know, for sandwiches, that's that's my one of my go to sauces for sandwiches. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Hey, Marilyn. Yes. Welcome. 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 Hey, Debbie from Southern California. Awesome. Old Bay is great, says Kathleen. It is. Hey, Texas made food. How you doing? How you doing? Old buddy there. Been knowing Texas made food for about three years. How you doing there? Yes. And Cheryl is in the house. Yes. Hey, to Kathleen. Hello. Hello. Hey, Shirley. Yes, I'm here. Awesome. So tell me in the chat if I'm last week, I don't know if it was last week. I've been a little off since I injured my head. I'm like, my days have been just off because I haven't been sleeping at night. So it, the last time I was live, there was a lot, a lot of echoing. So let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay and see me okay on both the Facebook and because both of them had technical difficulties. The YouTube side was going in and out and the Facebook side was just faint. So put a five in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. So that, that way I'll know if this is a good setup because I can see that everybody can see my cutting board, which was, oh, excuse me, which was another problem I had last time everybody couldn't see okay so i got a lot of fives going up on the youtube side any fives on the uh facebook side can you guys hear me and see me okay on the facebook side if you can please put a five in the chat so i'll know sounds great and looks great okay fantastic thank you thank you for letting me know kimberly awesome okay everybody can hear me okay so apparently this is the way i need to take a picture to set up <laughs> <laughs> so I can remember exactly how I have everything set because I tried to space my mics away from each other. So I am just going to be using, like I said, my immersion blender here uh, to go ahead and mix this up with. And I am not going to uh, Laurie's. Texas made food likes Laurie's. Yes, yes, yes. Laurie's is a little bit too salty for me. And I'm a salt person. I'm not a sweet person. I, I, give me the salt Hand me the salt shaker, not the sugar, although a little sugar goes in here. Um, so I'm just going to use this. This is for my immersion blender and um, blend it up real good. And I'm not going to really measure anything, but I will go back and put in the description of the live the exact measurements uh, of what everything should be. Y'all know I don't. I don't measure. Come on now. We just dip and put in there and taste. <laughs> dip, put in there and taste. I only measure when I have to measure, like baking, or I will measure if I'm cooking for other people. If I'm cooking for other people, I tend to measure. If I'm cooking for my family, and that's even my extended family, I don't typically measure. I do not want that to roll off the counter. 
Let me plug this up right quick. Okay. And let me see. I have this spoon. I don't think I don't think I need this fork. I will need another spoon. Um, and I think I have everything I need. Let me wash my hands very quick. Okay. Hey, Debbie. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see, let's see. Hey, Pamela Wilson. Vicky is in the house. Hello, I am looking for your rolled spinach and chicken Alfredo recipe. Still can't find it. I want to make it some. Okay, okay. Jenkins in Jenkins. After this um, live ends, please come back to the live and leave me a comment, not in the chat right now, because it's going to be way too many uh, comments in the chat, but leave me a comment on this video. And when I respond, I will respond with the link, okay? So that you'll have that. Because um, I can't give it to you now because I can't get to it now. I don't know if I have any mods in here either, but I don't worry about that. I'll just do it that way. Just leave me a comment. And after on the, on the video, after it indexes into a video, and then I will respond with the link to that uh, pasta dish. And when you when you when you leave the comment, please tell me the dish you're looking for, because you know my mind is like, <laughs> yes, Nancy is here. Hello for hey Pat, welcome, 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 welcome to all the first timers. That's amazing. Welcome to all the first timers. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started and i'm not going to make that much so let's see I'll put my water in first so it'll be in the bottom to help circulate everything around then go ahead go in with my mayo and that should be enough for me for right now Okay, all righty, let's see here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I need, okay, I can use this water dish. I do not like sitting my spoons directly onto my cutting board. Don't ask why, I have no clue. You'll need a little sugar, so we'll put that in. And you really just put everything in and then blend it up. Typically, I would not blend this. Typically, I would just put it in a bowl and use a whisk. That's all you really have to do. You do not have to blend this. You don't have to pull out your blender or anything. However, because my finger is still extremely sore, <laughs> I don't want to, even doing that, I feel that on my hand, okay? So I don't want to put any unnecessary pressure on it. So I'm not gonna whisk it by hand. So that's why I'm using a blender, but you do not have to have a blender. Uh, I'm going to soften this in the microwave just a tad bit. You don't want it melted, but my I actually had my butter was in the freezer. So I need to get it just a tad bit soft. What are you? I am making a yum yum sauce. We are just making the sauce this morning because, again, I didn't feel like doing a lot with my hand. So uh, we're just making the sauce. It's yum yum sauce, and it is yummy. Yes. It is yummy, yummy, yummy. Um Helmets is your choice. Yes. Yes. I am not a fan of Dukes. I use Hellman's all the time. If I can't get Hellman's, I will buy a store brand before I buy Dukes. Now, I know I got a lot of Dukes people around. I know people love Dukes. Dukes is like, whew, they got it going on, I guess, because everybody likes Dukes. The reason I like Hellman's over Dukes is because if you taste them one after the other, Dukes has a slightly sweeter taste to it than Hellman's. Outside of that, I have nothing uh, bad to say about Dukes or anything. But it's just sweeter. The Hellman's is not sweet. It, it's, it's just not. Uh, let's see here. Um, what is the sugar content? Is this? 
I don't even see any. Maybe that's why I like it. I really don't. There's no sugar in here. Where are the ingredients? Well, there's sugar in the ingredients, but there's no, there's no, not probably, uh, must not be enough to have it listed as a percent. So it's not like, you know, 1% sugar or anything like that. I don't know if Duke's is or not, but that's why I like Hellman. So let me soften this up a little bit. And it got kind of, I only did it for like nine seconds, but uh, so it's not completely melted. It's just softened mostly. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, good morning. How are you? Thank you so much. You are so welcome, Ada. Hey, Carmen, how are you? Dukes doesn't have, oh, Dukes doesn't have sugar. Well, you know what? It tastes sweeter to me. And that's the main reason why I don't care for it. But yes, I'm a Hellman's girl. I like Hellman's. Yes, indeed. Okay, so put your little butter in there. Set that aside. And why do I have this fourth of a teaspoon? I don't know. We need a little tomato paste, about a teaspoon of tomato paste. And actually, I will, you know what? Because everybody doesn't come back and look at it. So I'm going to say the actual ingredients. If you were making this, you would want one cup of mayo. One cup, your choice, <laughs> Duke Selma's your own, make it, I don't, I, it doesn't matter. One cup of mayo, a uh, tablespoon of butter, and a teaspoon of tomato paste, and you need a teaspoon of sugar, which I already have in here. You need a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and salt to taste. You can leave it out. You can put it in there. I always add at least a pinch of salt because it does bring out the flavor. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to add in here what looks like a teaspoon. I don't even have a cup of mayo. So I have probably about a half a cup. So I don't really need a whole teaspoon of tomato paste. And that's good enough. That's probably about a half a teaspoon, more or less. I'll adjust it as I go if it tastes differently and I need some more of something or something like that. And then my old bay. Like I said, feel free to use whatever, um, feel free to use whatever all-purpose seasoning that you like. Yes, yum yum is the hibachi sauce that's slightly very light pink or orange. It tastes good with all meat. It does. It does. And I love it for sandwiches. I love it. Love, love, love it for sandwiches. I may have to adjust this little seasoning because I don't have a whole cup. Ooh, that smells delicious. And that uh, tinge of pinkness that you mentioned, that probably comes from the tomato paste because there's nothing else in it that would be that color. So give me a second and I'm going to blend this and see what happens. taste this and see what we need to add here. Oh my God, nothing. <laughs> it's good. It is so good. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? Set this up here, right? So I don't want it to fall. I don't want that on my cutting board. You know what? I'm going to use this little spoon. You know what this reminds me of? This young, That's why I like it so much. As most of you all may know, a lot of you all have asked me, what is my favorite food? My favorite food to eat, just that I would want any day of the week at a fine dining restaurant. A cheeseburger. <laughs> I love cheeseburgers. And when I grew up, McDonald's had just started 
coming about. And when I was a real little girl, there was no such thing as McDonald's. And when it came out, Big Mac was my absolute favorite burger. It's like when my parents said, we, you can, we are going to get McDonald's today, which was probably once or twice a year. <laughs> Child, whew, all I wanted was a Big Mac. I didn't care if I had fries. I didn't care what I had. Just give me the burger, okay? <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. It just dawned on me when I tasted it again. I eat it all the time, but it just dawned on me. It tastes like that uh, sauce that's on the Big Mac. So, yeah, I'm eating a spoonful. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Amazingly delicious, guys. Mm. Y'all saw how quick that was? All I need now is a patty, a burger patty with some cheese and pickles. In a bun. I don't really need the bun. <laughs> Yes. Oh, girl. Yes. I know. Wasn't that quick and easy? Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Yes. That was just quick and easy. Now I'm going to dip. I dip that spoon in. I'm going to dip all these spoons in here. <laughs> I can't help it. This sauce is amazing. And I didn't make that much. You don't have to make a lot. I had about, I had about a half a cup of mayo and I just halved everything. I eyeballed it, but I halved everything. I don't necessarily... Well, maybe because I love to cook. This this could be just something with me. But maybe because I love to cook, I don't necessarily like to make jars of sauces and have them in the refrigerator ready to go. I'd rather just whip it up as I go, <laughs> you know, instead of having it already done and ready. So I just pretty much make what I'm going to have. And maybe for today and tomorrow, depending on what I'm going to have or, you know, enough for, you know, a couple of servings or something, but I don't need a lot. Mm. This is the best sauce. Whoever, whoever, this is not my sauce. This is yum yum sauce. Whoever came up with this sauce, they did the thing. I'm just saying. They won the competition. They did the thing. They did it. Yes. You're just too cute. Big, cute. Oh, thank you. Hope my finger heals well. I hope it does too. And actually, give you a little update on it. This happened Sunday morning um, at about 10 a.m. And honestly, you know, I washed it off. I rinsed it off. And it stopped bleeding to the point I could get a Band-Aid on it. I was cooking at the time. I was using a mandolin. So I bandaged it up and there was no blood that came through the band-aid. So I'm like, okay, I'm good. But I didn't put any neosporin on it or anything. I just rinsed it off and bandaged it up so I could clean up my mess and finish what I was doing. So my son came over, things happened, the day went on. So about three o'clock, three or four o'clock was the first time Sunday I got a chance to settle down. So I settled down and I said, oh, you know what? Let me take this bandaged off, clean my finger properly and put something on it, like Neosporin or something, put something on it. That was all she wrote. I took that bandage off, blood was everywhere. I couldn't stop it, couldn't stop it, couldn't stop it. Finally, I went to the urgent care by force of my husband because I still wasn't gonna go. He said, you need to go. I'm like, okay, I need to go. <laughs> So I went and in going, they couldn't stop the bleeding either. I left there, my thumb, my thumb, my finger was still bleeding. It was not bleeding profusely like it was when I was at home. They did slow it down to a very small, but it was still bleeding. So they said, leave it wrapped up until two or three days and then change the dressing. They had it wrapped down to my hand because they said, do not move that finger. They could not find a splint to put on there. So they said, we're going to wrap it. We're going to wrap it tight. We're going to wrap it down in your hand. Make sure you don't bend this finger. So Wednesday came. I forgot to ask them, when I take this bandage off to clean it and rewrap it, do I need to wrap it back down in my hand or what? They told me to size to look for, for infection and all that. Child took that bandage off the other day. Well, this is Friday. I took that bandage off Wednesday. Do you know my finger was still bleeding? Still bleeding. Yes, it was still bleeding. I said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I said, it's a good thing I have a high tolerance for pain because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't be on here right now. 
I probably would not have dropped any videos. I probably would not have done any of the things that I've done since then. So at any rate, I cleaned it up, rebandaged, rebandaged it. And they told me, even though it's still bleeding a little bit, you need to check it and clean it and rebandage it every day. I called in again. Uh, thank you, HH. So uh, I cleaned it yesterday again. I've been cleaning it in the evening, like before bed, because I know at that time it's got a fresh bandage and everything on it. And I won't have to move it around very much after that. And thank God the bleeding had finally stopped. So now, prayerfully, it can go ahead and heal. I hope it heals as fast as it bled. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help but joke about it. It's like, it was crazy. It was crazy. And it was my fault. I, and that's the sad thing about it. I have nobody, but I can't blame my husband. I can't blame, the, I can't even blame the man. Okay? I can't blame anybody but myself. I did not wear the protective gloves. It has protective gloves. It has that little, somebody called it a hat, that little round thing that has the, if you all know what a mandolin looks like, it has this little round cup-like thing that comes in, has uh, spikes in it. You're supposed to take that and stick that down in whatever you are um, slicing to hold on to. That's double protection. So you got the glove on, you got the handle on. I could have even used a fork, had the glove on and put a fork in it and it, no. So I was doing a video at the time as well. And I was using that mandolin in the video. That video is going to come out uh, later today. <laughs> and I actually inserted another part to that video of me slicing the item and said in the video that I originally used the mandolin and I would not advise anybody to use it. I wouldn't, not anymore. I would not, I won't tell anybody if you use one. Yes, I have one. Will I use it again? Uh, probably not, <laughs> but I'm not going to suggest anyone. Um, you're such a lovely lady. Come common sense and really love you. Thank you. I didn't have no common sense that day. <laughs> Let's just say you got common sense. I didn't have no common sense that day. I needed somebody to tell me what to do. Because <laughs> apparently I had no clue. Y'all should have been telling. Y'all should have been saying, come with me. We'll tell you what to do. Because I needed somebody to tell me what to do. <laughs> yes. What is, oh, Chef Finders, Chef Finders, why I know you didn't ask me what is a mandolin? Come on, brother, man, you know what a mandolin is. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, thank you so much, Life Unbox. Chef Finders, why, and I know good and well, you know what a mandolin is. You just ain't thinking, brother. You're not thinking. Thank you so much for that super chat. I appreciate that. And for all the stars over here, I see them going up. The chat is going too fast. I can't see who's going, who's uh, going. Chef Fine is why. I know you're here looking. You better be looking. <laughs> this is a mandolin. They come in all types and shapes. But let me show you. Let me show you right quick. Let me show you since you asked. This is like the blade. This is the actual blade I was using. This is the top half. It fits in there like that. Chef Finders, why you have seen these where people are slicing. I, you better come back in the chat and tell me you've seen this. I know you've seen this. This is the glove, people, that I should have had on. Chef Finders, why says, I don't know what that is. Wait, it looks like it's, yes. Come on now. You see people using this? You're not thinking. Come on. You're not thinking. And then this is the little thing that you're supposed to put. See how it has the spikes on there? You're supposed to put this in the vegetable. And then you're supposed to put this glove on. So you have this glove. Oh, okay. I see. I know you know what it is. You're just not thinking. Come on now. All that cooking you've done and, and training you had. Child, come on. So this is the glove. This is the little thing. I didn't use any of it. I was standing up. 
I'm gonna slice my finger. This thing is extra, extra, super sharp. So, and it has all kinds of different blades that you can use and everything. And blade shoots with blades for all kinds of spiral stuff and everything else. It's very nice. It's very getting ready to be put back in this box. <laughs> so, that's what a mandolin is. Hey, Shelly, how are you? Good morning. That's another member. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming in. I'm trying to put this back so I can put it back up real quick. Oh, put the glove in. So, this is what I was using. And for those of you all who didn't know, fine as wine. <laughs> that is a mandolin. And that is what I severely cut my finger on. Even this is a top that you can put to hold your food down with. Did I use any of it? No. Absolutely, I did not. So like I said, I have no one to blame but moi. <laughs> yes, I love that apron. Let me tell Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. So we'll set this aside. So yes, that is a mandolin. Let me unplug this right quick. So move all this out of my way. So yes, and this is the yum yum for you all, all of you all who have just come in here. This is the yum yum sauce that I just made. I will put the, I did go over what the ingredients are. And I will go over them again. This is, this is a yum yum sauce. It is absolutely delicious. So easy to make. You can, don't even need, I use the immersion blender, but you don't need the immersion blender. This is just for those who have just come in. You don't need an immersion, merge, you don't need a blender. <laughs> but because I'm trying to keep pressure off of my hand, I used it. You can just whisk it together. Um, and the typical recipe is a cup of mayo. You need a cup of mayo, oh, a tablespoon of butter, a teaspoon of um, tomato paste, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of water, and uh, let's see, oh, a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and a teaspoon of sugar. That's it. Salt to your taste. I didn't need to put any salt in mine um, because I actually use salted butter. So keep that in mind. Anytime a recipe, I don't care even when you're baking or doing anything, if a recipe calls for um, salt and butter, and if you don't have any unsalted butter for the recipe, you can always use salted butter, but keep that in mind and then probably don't put in this pinch of salt or the teaspoon of salt or that they're having in there. Let me see. Somebody just asked a question on the Facebook side. Did you ever think you'd become so? No, not at all. Not at all. I had no clue. It's just been amazing. I am so surprised as surprised as everybody else. Um Please, please have your blood clotting time checked. Oh, okay. Okay. And you know what, Francis? <laughs> I don't know what it was. I actually think it was the angle of it. I've never had anything in my entire life to do this. None whatsoever. But I will. That's a good one. Yes, Cheryl uh, Person says, in culinary school, my chef made me cut up two big boxes of potatoes with a really old school, and I hated it. it took five. Yes. Woo, especially if it was old on top of it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Pam. I've never had, but you should try it. It's so simple, so easy, so quick. Uh, Shelly says, I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Miranda, hey, Vicky is watching. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Melissa Hatley uh, asked a question. Let me see if I can see what that question said. One second. What do you use? Uh, everything. <laughs> it's good on sandwiches. It's used a lot in Japanese cuisine, but you can use it on sandwiches. You can use it as a dip. Um, 
You can put it in a casseroles. You can use it for whatever you want. I love, love, love it on sandwiches. I love, love, love it as a dip. Those are my two favorite things uh, to use it for. But it is just absolutely wings, chicken wings with a dip. It's just amazingly delicious. Yes, it is really. Uh, you said, how long can you store it? I probably wouldn't store this more than a few days in my refrigerator, but I try not to make things that I need to store like that when they're so simple and easy. Um, I like to just make enough. This is half of the recipe. This is about a half of a cup because it makes about a cup. I don't need that much. Didn't need this much, but I had to make, I probably would have put some in a little bitty dish, add a little mayo, a little this, a little that, a little pinch of everything, just if I wanted a dip for myself. And so I would have broken it down instead of using a cup of mayo, which is what the recipe calls for. I probably would have started with a fourth of a cup, you know, just make what I need. Because like I said, you don't need a blender. You just stir it up. So I don't make a lot of things that I have to store like that when it comes to sauces and things. Shelly says, thank you for the mushroom tip. You're welcome, Shelly. You're welcome. I had so many people asking me about mushrooms. I'm not a mushroom fan. I like mushroom soup. And I like mushroom gravy. And that's it. That's it. I don't want any mushrooms in my omelet. I don't want any mushrooms in my salad. I don't want any mushrooms in my pizza. Now, I can eat them. <laughs> if I buy something or it's served to me, I will eat it. But other than that, you guys can have the mushrooms. How about that? <laughs> yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I bought and cut a cut proof glove to use. Yes, that's a mate. That's what you need. Yes. Can you put the recipe in the description? I just. Yes, Sharon, I will. I absolutely will put the um, recipe in the description. Yes, I will. And um, I, I think I can add it to the description on the Facebook side, too, when I upload it because it tells me to post it and I know I can change the title. If I can change the title, I should be able to add it. So I'll add it in both on Facebook and YouTube. I will add it in the description on both so that you all can find it. And to get to the description, a lot of people ask me about I, they don't see the description. On the Facebook side, it'll be right there in, in, in the post. So you'll obviously see it. But on the uh, YouTube side, when you're looking, watching a video, any video, Look right below the video and typically whoever the creator is will be saying something about the video, even if it's just uh, restating the title of it. And at the end of that, you'll see something that says show more. Nine times out of 10, you have to click that for it to expand. If you don't click that show more, you will never see it. So go below the look below the video. Just scroll up on your device. Look below the video. You'll see some words from the creator saying something about their channel themselves or what the video is. And it should have some words right there next to it. This should say show more. And that's how you get to the description. That's how you get to the description, because a lot of people, a lot of people keep asking me. Um, you said it was in the description, but I don't see no description. So <laughs> I'm like. How come y'all say the description is right there? And then I had to realize that, okay, you don't realize you need to click the show more. Yeah, South Carolina. No, Central Mississippi, girl. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We love you over here. All right, Central Mississippi. Yes, yes. Happy season. Greetings. Awesome. Hey, Nancy. How are you? Hey, Dorothy. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I finally got you live. Las Vegas here. All right. Let's hit the jackpot. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. I guess you say that is not all what Las Vegas is about, but that's what everybody that's not from Las Vegas. That's the first thing we think. Yes, I'm glad I caught you live. Hello from everyone. Uh, tapping in from North Carolina. Hey, neighbor Yvonne, how are you? Linda is here. Pam, uh, I've been cooking for your videos. How? Okay, let me go back up. Let me go back up. Let me see. Pam, I've been looking for your video on how to clean plastic bowls. Okay. If you can't find them, I do not know how to tell you to find them. Uh, well, I think if you go to my homepage on Facebook, there's you can see it across the top videos and reels and you should be able to click reels. But if you cannot find it there, you can go to my YouTube homepage and at the top of that page, it will say home. Then it'll say videos. Then it'll have the word shorts, shorts. You'll have to scroll through them or you can type in the search bar on my page, 
what you're looking for and it should come up. It's not always accurate and it doesn't always come up, but it should. That's the way you would find the ones for the Tupperware dishes. Yes. Hey, Jacksonville, Arkansas. Yes. Uh, go to her home videos on YouTube and there's a shorts and you can look for. Yes, that's right. KF Stu. Thank you for that. That's absolutely correct. Yes. Enjoyed watching you cook in the garden. Let me see. Uh, Deborah says, first time I've caught you live. Let me see. Oh, go back up. How come it's not moving? OK, there it goes. First time I caught you live. I'm glad I did enjoy watching your cooking and garden videos. Yes. Yes. You know, I was hoping to go out in the garden today, actually. It's been raining so much. I wanted to get out there. Oh, scroll down there. There we go. I wanted to get out there and do some things this morning, but it's been raining, raining, raining. So I'm not going out there today. <laughs> yes. Uh, I always look for your shorts every day. I enjoy you and learn. All right. Oh, thank you, KF Stu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. How do you keep cucumbers from going soft? And I have that. I have that short already up. Just go to my homepage and like, uh, like um, uh, KF Stu just said, go to the homepage and there's a shorts tab and you can look for it from there. Uh, we have Nancy from Porter, Texas is here. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see. BJ says, are loving all of these awesome tips and recipes. Good. good. I'm glad you all are enjoying them. Sometimes I wonder if it's worth doing it's like are they really wanting this and so it's good to hear that you guys do want it because you know i don't know <laughs> i don't know and a lot of you all you know you ask me to do certain things feel free to always ask me new to youtube i'm a fan girl fantastic creator. thank you so much little shrimp always in the comments or you know whatever if it's something that you want seen done like a couple of people have asked me for things this morning in the live, but I've already done them. If I've already done it, I'll let you know. But if it's not, I'll put it on my to-do list. My to-do list is pretty long, so it may take me a minute to get to it. I also uh, typically I will I will wait if it's something that I, I understand. I feel like giving up. Yes, yes. And Anthony says I found you in YouTube Shorts about how to get baking soda out of the box, use the trick and it works. So I'm like, yes, that's awesome, Anthony. Fantastic, fantastic. You know, I will put things on my to-do list. I try not to waste any food or anything. So um, if you ask me to show you something, especially if it has to do more or less with cooking something or making something, I always just add it to my to-do list and then I'll do it the next time we have it or the next time I'm going to cook it or use it or something like that. I'm going to get ready to use this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, thank you, Jamie, for those stars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Maxine, how are you? Let's see. Tina says, I love your awesome tips and tricks. Someone asked about keeping cucumbers from going soggy. My question is, if you want to save leftover sliced cucumbers, how do you keep them from getting slimy? You would want to put those, wrap those in, uh, I would wrap them in a single layer on a paper towel, put a paper towel on top, then put them in a Ziploc bag. Uh, because they're already cut, they're not going to last that long. Um, I know I have a lot of people asking me about bagged lettuce. I did a video about that recently. It'll be coming out soon. Uh, I actually had spinach in the bag, so I went ahead and did that. It's the same concept. Hey, Gideon, how are you? How are you? I always learn this. Another member. Thank you so much. I always learn things from you. Didn't know I wanted to learn. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, I'm 73 and learn something each time I watch you. Oh, that's fantastic. You had something about, okay, let me see. Let me see, let's see if I can find it. You had something about gum disease in Walmart. What was it? I had something about, uh-oh. Okay. I had something about gum disease in Walmart. In Walmart? In Walmart, I haven't done anything in Walmart. You're going to have to refresh my memory a little bit more, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Whatever. <laughs> yes, it's worth it. Keep doing. Okay, fantastic. 
Yes, 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 yes. You are a work of knowledge. I have used your hacks and videos. My ice cream has never been better. <laughs> yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, I live in Tennessee, but we are on vacation at Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Okay, it's raining here. It is raining here too. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a good ways from the beach, but yes, it's raining here too. All right. Yes. And Cecilia's greetings from Charlotte. Hey, neighbor. Yes. Evangel Evangelist. I think I said that right. Chris, I think that's it. Patricia. Hey, Curtis. How are you? Ah, summa cum laude. Yeah, all right. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what that said. I'm about to graduate summa cum laude next year from ASU. Oh, my God. Congratulations, congratulations, summa cum laude. Woo, child barely graduated. You go now, hey. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Be, be very proud of your, of your achievement. That is amazing. Yes, that's amazing. Yes, congratulations, congratulations. Need tips to get brown fried chicken in my air fryer. Okay, I have a. I just did a video on how to convert recipe, how to convert um, recipes for an air fryer. So hopefully that'll help you out. I don't use my air fryer very much. I have had a lot of people ask me for air fryer recipes. I don't. I have two air fryers. I have one that's an oven air fryer. It's got oven and air fryer. It's a countertop, but it's got uh, oven, air fryer broiler, a whole bunch of stuff on it. Then I got the one that a lot of people have that sits on the counter. You pull the little drawer out. I like the one on the counter that has the oven and stuff to it because I actually use the oven part of it a lot. But as far as the air fryer, I am not a fan of the air fryer. So I don't do a lot of air fryer recipes. I do them occasionally just because. I'm not a fan of it. I'd rather have it cooked in a regular oven. For me, personally, one reason why I don't like it, it takes longer. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Y'all need to show me what to do. <laughs> My air fryer, it takes longer. Maybe it takes longer because I'm cooking larger quantities of food. And so it only holds so much. All of them, they only hold so much. So whereas my oven can hold a whole lot. That could be the reason right there. But that's my number one reason. It takes me too long when I use an air fryer. Besides that, it's a gadget. That means I need to bring it out, set it up, cook in it, and then clean it. My oven is here. I ain't got to bring it out. I ain't got to put it up. That's two. If I put a pan under it, like I put my foil on my bottom thing, I ain't got to clean it. <laughs> so... Yes, yes. I know Shelly says, come with me. I'll show you what to do. All right. Now I have an air fryer oven and it's the new one. Yes, me either. I gave mine away. It never came out. My it, The food comes out wonderfully. I, the food tastes great. I don't like the process thereof. So that's why I don't use mine that much. Uh, Pam, my mom found your channel and loves it. Who knew? Oh, wow. Awesome. Yes, awesome, awesome. Well, for brown foods in the air fryer, use uh, extra virgin olive oil, someone just said. Agreed, I have to flip it more. Hard to, yes, you got to flip the food more. It's hard to clean. And I still say you might brown it, but it's not going to be brown like it's browned on your stove or oven. So I'm just not a fan of it. You know, I think they are really good for people that are maybe single, for young people. People that are single, maybe people that they're in a dormitory, if they can have that in a dormitory. I know we could have a hot plate in our dormitory, but I'm pretty sure that was so many moons ago, rules have changed, fire hazards, all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Um, it's good to always have one as a backup. I, I, I like that as a backup. If something were to really happen to my oven, I could cook in my air fryer, but I got to a huge grill outside, and if anything happened to my oven, there is nothing. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> tip of the day. <laughs> Heads up. This is a tip for today. <laughs> my tip for today. If you live in a place 
that allows you to grill. Even if you have a propane grill, you need a charcoal grill. You don't have to go out and get a monstrous one. Charcoal grills come in everything from tabletops to, to uh, larger ones to the uh, uh, Weber grills, the kettle, the Weber kettle grills to the big, huge ones like I got outside. But if you have a charcoal grill and you have a life emergency, you can cook. Because guess what? It says charcoal grill. But you can put some sticks in there. If you can create a fire, all you need to do is build a fire. And if you can build a fire, you can cook. Get you a cast iron skillet and get you a good stainless steel skillets. Most stainless steel skillets, I have some that will go all the way up to 500, 550 degrees. Um, but most, most of them, not the tops because the tops are glass, but just a solid, I don't have mine near me, but just a solid stainless steel skillet will withstand heat up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That means you can put it on a flame. It's no different than cooking on a gas stove. You have a flame. I know a lot of people say, oh, I like my electric uh, gas, my gas, not my electric, my gas grill. I want my gas grill. Yeah, you want your gas grill, and that's fine. It's nothing wrong with that. Um, hey, Josh, I'm saying hi now, so you don't have to type that in the chat anymore. If you do, you're going to be out of here. So I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of it because it's too many of the same thing in here in the chat. So um, that's okay. I appreciate it. So, hey, Josh. So I just said it. So how you doing? Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. No worries. Uh, but when you put things in the chat that's repetitive, uh, the platforms consider that spam. So um, that's why I said that. So. Absolutely, if you can, I know everybody, sometimes people live in apartment complexes or things like that, Get a, keep your bag of charcoal as backup, okay? But if push comes to shove, there's a tree or something near you where you can get some sticks and some wood from to start a fire to cook. So um, that's just a little tip for me. So I love, love, love my, and all this new pellet grills and all that. They're good. There's nothing wrong with that. They have a fantastic cook. They are amazing. Okay. But I'm all about long-term and making sure I can survive if I need to, if things go wrong. So always have a charcoal grill. And that's another thing with that charcoal grill. If you buy the right, you can also use um, wood, cooking wood in a charcoal grill. You get the right cooking wood and that uh, apple or maple or whatever you use, you can't get that flavor from propane. You can't get that flavor from propane. So I'm a big, huge fan of a charcoal grill. So if anything happened to my oven, my first go-to is out that door. And I, I've cooked in snow. I've cooked in knee-deep snow on my charcoal grill before just because I wanted something grilled. So <laughs> there's no limits to it. As long as you get the fire going and keep it going, you're good. Hey, Alton, Illinois. Hello. How are you? I know that's the city. I, I couldn't see the name. <laughs> I live in Florida, L.O. during a uh, hurricane. Yes. Good advice, says Emma. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Pam, do you garden? What's your best? Absolutely, I garden. Matter of fact, I have a gardening channel. Yes. And I give the same kind of tips, tricks, and hacks I give over here for cooking. I do the same thing for gardening. It's called The Scaredy Cat Gardener. I'm the Scaredy Cat Gardener on Facebook. My Facebook page is the Scaredy Cat Gardener, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. 
And on YouTube, my YouTube gardening channel is The Scaredy Cat Gardener. I have just started posting over there, so I don't have nearly as many subscribers or things as I have over there. But yes, go over there, check it out, and join me over, over there too, because I just did a live a couple of days ago over in my garden. Yes, yeah, so I go live over in my garden too. And as the season changes and I'm out there, I'm looking out there now, my Brussels sprouts have finally taken off. And I'm hoping they just, I love Brussels sprouts. So I'm hoping they grow. I planted some lettuce a couple of days ago and it only took like three days to sprout. It's coming up and I love lettuce. I got it right outside my door so I don't have to go far. That's another thing. If you are gardening or you do have a garden, one of the good tips, you just asked me what's the, the, one of the best tips I could give you. If you are gardening, one of the best things I can say is garden close to your house, okay? Unless you are on a serious farm and you have a serious garden, everything I grow is in containers everything. I'm getting ready to start growing fruit trees in containers. I do that for two reasons. One, I am getting older. I don't want to get on the ground. I don't want to get on the ground, okay? <laughs> my containers can be lifted up. Right now, my containers are on the ground, but they're big 13-gallon containers, so they're not that far down. But as I get older, I can always put them up on a bench or build something and sit them up on them. Also, if you move, you can take your garden with you and you don't have to start over again. So it's nothing wrong with growing in the ground. But if you have things in containers, grow close to the house. I don't want to go to the back of my yard every time I got to go water, every time I want to prune something or just go get some lettuce. Speaking of lettuce, I got my lettuce. It's the first pot right outside my back door. I literally do not have to do anything more than put one foot out the door to get to that pot. And that was by design because when I want a salad, I just want to go out there and snip some and get it. I don't want to go all the way over to the back. So go ahead and close as possible to your house within reason and you'll enjoy going out there more because it won't be a chore. You'll, you'll just enjoy it. Yes, 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 yes. Keep putting the Bible verses on your page. I love them. You have. A, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Awesome. You have a wonderful ministry. Do you have that? channel on YouTube. I don't have Facebook. Yes, it's the Scaredy Cat Garden. I sure do. It is the youtube.com slash at the Scaredy Cat Garden. And as a matter of fact, if you go to my homepage, my cooking homepage on YouTube, you will, all you need to do is scroll down on that page and you'll see it. It'll say, visit me in my garden. You'll see my face. <laughs> And it'll say, if you click that link, you'll be on my garden channel. Yes, plants and things come to my house to die. No, Shelly, no, no, no. You just got to learn what you're doing. Like you learn, you didn't come here cooking. You wasn't born cooking. So come on, you can cook, you can garden too. Yes, yeah, somebody just asked me a question over here on the Facebook side I see. It says, OMG, tabletop garden and built my own boxes out of pallets. Yes, 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 yes. Lemon and orange trees in containers. I freaking love. You know what? I would love to see that. I would love to see your fruit trees in your garden. Can you send me some pictures? Email me some pictures of your garden because I don't have any fruit trees, but that's one of the things I want to do this year. Um, I have to be selective because I'm in zone 7B, which is St. Louis, Missouri in the building. Hello, Pam. First time catching. Hey! Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for coming. I decided to treat myself today for my birthday. Enjoy Pam's live chat. Your ministry is wonderful and your uh, spirit sister. Oh, happy birthday, Audrey. Happy birthday. Yes, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is actually my birthday month as well. I'm a March baby. Yes, I am. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. Where is it? where? Cooking at Pam's place at gmail.com. Cooking. At Pam, same thing, cooking at, oh, you know what? You can send it to the Scaredy Cat, because that's gardening. Send it to the Scaredy Cat Gardener at gmail.com. The Scaredy Cat Gardener at gmail.com. The Scaredy Cat Gardener at gmail.com. Yes, I would love to see that. Yes, 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 because that's, that's, that's what I'm getting ready to do. I really, I have blueberries out there uh, right now, because I haven't planned. I've started by some of my seeds on the, uh, inside that I needed to start. 
but I, out there right now, I have uh, some Brussels sprouts, some lettuce, some parsley. My blueberries are starting to come back. And that's about it. I do have some cabbage out there. I don't know how it's going to go. Oh, happy birthday to you, Pam. Yes, welcome. All these, all these, um, uh, Shelly says, my son's birthday is Marshall. All right. Hey, Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. Hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for coming. All these March people in here. We March people. Yay. Awesome. Yes. God has blessed you with so much wisdom. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you. Yes, I was just introduced to tower gardening where you can grow all your vegetables right in your kitchen without soil. Yes, I've been reading about that. I don't know that I want mine inside or I don't know my husband wants them inside. <laughs> but yes, I've been looking at a lot of those uh, tower gardening that they, they look wonderful. Yes. Hello from Tarboro, Tar 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 uh, North Carolina. Okay. Yes. Awesome. She turned 31. That is fantastic. Do you do desserts? Yes. As a matter of fact, Wilson, I have a lot of desserts on my channel. Uh, cooking at Pam's Place. Type in what you want. I got, and they all made from scratch. All but maybe one or two. They're all made from scratch. I have a lot of desserts on my cookie channel. That's another thing that will be coming out within the next week. I did a little short reel. I had somebody ask me if I could uh, start doing cooking videos. And I was like, I have over 600 cooking videos on my channel. I'm like, what do you mean? Can I start doing cooking videos? I, and I still upload one every single Sunday. I have one coming out this Sunday. So, Yes, I absolutely do desserts. Look on my channel. So I want to do that real to let everyone know that I do have all these cooking videos and where to find them. Yes, yes, yes. So many vegetables growing. So many vegetables can be grown uh, from the ones you, but yes, that's my favorite. Oh yeah, I do have some celery out there from that, from celery. I just cut the bottom off, stuck it in the dirt, and then I'm done. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for those stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shelly says, I'm going to do more baking. Yes. Hey, Denise, how are you? How are you? Hi, Pam, signing in. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Yes. Ali says, happy birthday to the other one that is celebrating today. And Kimberly sent up cakes and things, cookbooks, or consider do you have any? I am in the process of writing my cookbook now. Um, a one band woman. So uh, it's going to take me a minute, but I am in the process of writing it. Yes, I am. Prayerfully, it'll be out in the fall. This has slowed me down. I am right handed. And right now I cannot write very well. And then the cut is acting on the side, right here on the side. So even as it heals, it's going to be a while before I can really right now I'm trying to write like this. And typing is the same because of the keyboard, if your hand is on the keyboard, still right there hitting that keyboard, hitting that keyboard. So it is what it is, but it'll be okay. And it'll be out. It'll be out when it's supposed to be out. That's what I say. Please include, let me see. Please include an audio tape with your, if, okay, I'll have to check into that and see how to do that. Yes. Awesome. 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 Yes, 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 yes. I tried your chocolate ice cream recipe and loved it. That's fantabulous. I am so glad you did. Yay. Yes, I like cookbooks for Christmas gifts or false. That's my plan is to try to have them out before that time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam Mac. Thank you so much for that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, I am not going to keep you all here all day. I just wanted to stop in. I love chatting with you all and make my yum yum sauce. <laughs> Had to make this yum yum sauce. Yes. Awesome. 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 So look out for my reels. I post, I upload um, regular cooking tutorials every Sunday, usually around 2.30. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Thank you for that super chat. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing, Kenny? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, every Sunday at around 2.30 is when I try to have it out. 
and my reels come out every day around 2.30, roughly. Uh, on Facebook, I typically post my reels. I post reels over there about three or four times a day, sometimes five times a day. Uh, but on the YouTube side, I post them once a day. Um, so, <laughs> so absolutely. <laughs> That's a cute little emoji. So, yes. Um, and then check my home page. I do have over, like I said, over 600 regular cooking step by step. These are step by just like I stood here and did this step by step. All my videos are step by step where I'm explaining everything I do as I go along. So hopefully you can cook it in your kitchen too. And that being said, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.